Hi folks, Jesse Ivy back with you again today. Today we're going to be talking about your cell phone. So I like my cell phone, I'm sure you like yours too, but one thing I don't like is annoying text messages. And that's what this video is basically about. It's about a text message scam that has to do with real estate. So if you're interested to find out what this scam entails and how it goes about, stick around. We're coming right back at you. folks and welcome back so today what we're going to be talking about it has to do with your friend and my friend uh, basically the cell phone and we all like cell phones we all like to get text messages and use them and call you you know call people or whatever but this has to do with your text messaging and that's what the name of this video basically is it's uh, buyer text message land scam and so what does this have to do with? Well, it has to do with receiving text messages on your phone like this. You know, I love to receive text messages, but I don't like to receive, you know, like calls on my phone where I'm hearing people to try to sell me something or a text message where somebody's trying to sell me something. Well, this has to do with that because basically what's going on right now is a lot of people are getting scammed out of their land uh, by people using text messages. And I made another video a while back. It was called Buyer Purchased Land Scam. It's the same people involved, the same like land companies that are doing this. Uh, and I think there's some kind of university, land university, that trains them how to do this. But basically what happens is, is you get text messages on your phone offering to buy your land. So it's a little bit, you know, before how uh, in the other video I did, it had to do with letters. This has to do with text messages. So uh, you'll be able to see here in a minute, I'm going to let you see some of the text messages that I have received over the last year having to do with land that I own. And some of the people actually make offers to me uh, during the text messages, but you'll get to see that. So let's, let's take a look at that right now so we know exactly what we're talking about. Here you go. So here we are, we're looking at some of these ones that I have received, some of these text messages uh, about selling land. So here's one, uh, good morning, just curious if you're still interested in a fair offer for your land in Spartanburg County, I'm very interested. Uh, this same dude, uh, he had sent me one, look above, you can see, he had sent me one about Florida land uh, again, but I've blocked him as you can see up here, I've blocked him. Um, moving on, here's one. Jesse, have you been lately? I reached out many months ago about the home on 1220 Truman Street. I'm still searching to buy if you're still. And a lot of these guys, you can tell they're either virtual assistants, you know, foreign, um, or they're from a call center that's foreign and cheap. So um, that's that's why a lot of them don't do grammar good. Here's another one. Hi, Jesse. My name is Logan. I'm a, the owner of a small real estate company. We came across your vacant land in Apache County. Um, another one. I, I, on this one, I actually wanted to see what they had to offer. So I, they asked about some Apache County land. Does your property have electricity? I said, no. Uh, no problem. We can offer you $1,200 for your five-acre property uh, in... Um, Apache County, Arizona, and of course I said no thank you. I mean, that's what they do. They lowball you like that. They think they're dealing with people that are really dumb, and uh, I'm sure there's some people who take them up on these offers, but that's just like ridiculous, that price. Here's another one. Uh, good afternoon. I own land in Hernando County. I'm looking to purchase. Would you consider selling? Uh, thanks, Pat. Um, another one here. Hey, Jesse Ivy. My name is Lisa. My company builds homes. Uh, we are wanted to know if you would consider selling your vacant lot. Um, no, I wouldn't. And another one. Hello, I'm Eve. I'm searching for some land in your area. I thought I would. Uh, I was wondering if you'd ever sell yours at 18043 Nighthawk Road. 
Um, you know, that's in Florida, and obviously I'm not going to do that. But th this is just a sample of some of the stuff you deal with, um, and so that you could get a, you know, an idea of what it's like when you get text messages in case you've never received any before. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about with the text messaging and the fact that people are, are offering to buy your land. Uh, some of the people, as I showed you, some of the people or some of the offers you get from these people uh, are ridiculous offers, okay? So um, as you're going along there, you know, and you saw some of the text messages that I've received myself, um, I can't help but wonder how many other people out there, maybe you, maybe you have even received a text message about real estate that you own. I've even received, uh, you know, about wanting to buy a house that I own or, uh, but this has to do with land. And so what these people do, these land companies, what they do, these land investment companies, is that they hire like a call center or uh, a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is usually somebody that's outsourced, like maybe somebody from India, somebody uh, from South America, who does a lot of uh, things for the land company and they work for peanuts. And that's why they get hired, is because these land companies can hire these call centers, virtual assistants, to do their dirty work, so to speak. Basically, text people all day long, call people, uh, write letters, that type of thing. But in this avenue, we're looking at sometimes even the investment company themselves will somehow get your phone number, send you a text, offer to buy your land, and uh, you know you you might get one of these, and, and you don't know what to do. Uh, you know you that's what you have to do is figure out how you're going to respond to one of these if you do get get one. I would be surprised if the person that's watching this video right now hasn't received one of these. Okay, so if you have received one of these, like me, you look at these. Uh, text messages that come in from these call centers or virtual assistants, even some land companies do do it, but I do think they farm them all out because they, they farm them out so that these people can just send out a million text messages to a million random people. And it's all a numbers game, folks. It's all a numbers game. And the whole numbers game is they send out a thousand of these and maybe 50 people respond, maybe 20 people sell them their land, and basically they sell it our, these land investment companies buy your land for peanuts on the dollar and it's a lot of times they're able to do this because they're taking advantage of somebody who's elderly uh, somebody who's very young somebody who doesn't know the true value of their property and so they use these text messages as a starting gate now so how in the heck can you protect yourself uh, from this type of stuff you know because People are going to just continually do this, and the only way you really can protect yourself is to know the value of your property. Because then you're going to, then you're going to be like this. You're going to go, oh, I just got a text. Oh, 10 acres, 10 acres, three thousand dollars. You're offering me for my land out in Christmas Valley. I already know my land's worth a lot more than that. It's worth like twenty thousand dollars at the least. At least if that's what's worth to me. Okay, but if you're somebody that does not know the true value of your land, then you're in trouble because that's what these text messages are about. They're a starting point to the get you interested in selling your land for pennies on the dollar. And it works. I mean, I've seen people sell their land. I've had people contact me telling me they got scammed at, scammed out of these, uh, from these land companies. So how is it best that you can defend yourself against these land companies so that you know the true value of your land? What are the scenarios you should take to stop these text messages from coming in? Because basically, if the text message doesn't come in to you, you don't have to worry about all this other stuff. Well, what I do on my phone, I have a Google Pixel, and what I do on my phone is I basically, uh, you know, block any number that comes in uh, that has to do with real estate, and they're trying to, you know, get my contact info, or they're trying to find out if I'll take a lowball offer or whatever. And you just block them here on your phone, and I'm sure your phone probably has the same thing where you're able to block somebody's phone number that is coming in. Okay, so let's look at this realistically. You know, if somebody contacts you on the phone texting you, do you think they're probably a legit company? Probably not. 
That, that would be my guess. I would, that'd be the first red flag, okay? You know, somebody hiding in the shadows over there, they can't call me direct, you know, or somehow contact me that way, then, then you probably know they're not legit. Okay, the other thing is, is you want to know the true value of your property. Now, how do you find that out? Um, I went over that in my other video, Buyer Purchase Land Scam. But in this one, you just need to know right off the top of your head the true value of your property. One way to find that out, uh, you can contact a realtor and have them give you a, a competitive market analysis on your bare land to see what it's worth. Uh, another way you can do that is by looking at your, your tax statement that comes in when you pay your property taxes every year. They'll usually be an assessed value or a real market value in most states now. So the assessed value is the bottom. That's what they're, they're assessing your property at. So if it's at the bottom there, you know, they're saying like my 10 acres in Christmas Valley, they're saying that it's worth $10,000, okay? But they're saying my real market value in Christmas Valley is $20,000, okay? There's a big difference between assessed value and real market value. Real market value is what you're really concerned with. The assessed value is the bottom of the barrel. I mean, you sure don't want to take it, any offer that's lower than your assessed value unless you're just desperate for money and need the cash. Anyway, that's what you need to do is figure out what is your property worth. Another way you can find this out, go on realtor.com and look up uh, 10 acres Christmas Valley, Oregon, or just type in Christmas Valley, Oregon and see what land is selling for out there. Another thing you could do would be to, uh, like I said before, contact a realtor and get an analysis of what they think your property is worth. You could also go on landsofamerica.com, landwatch.com, type in uh, Christmas Valley land and then look in there to see what your 10 acres is selling for. You know, if it's selling, it'll at least give you the perimeters of the lowest 10 acre one you see and the highest 10 acre one you see so that you at least have a ballpark of what your property is worth. These vulture land companies that, uh, you know, they're, they're called land investment companies, they won't come after you if and succeed if you know what the, your property value is, okay? And there's a lot of different ways to find that out. But the main thing is, is that your land is your business, okay? And it's up to you to know what your property is worth. I mean, if some guy comes in and goes, hey, I'm gonna give you, uh, you know, I'm gonna offer you $10,000 of you, uh, you know, for the Christmas Valley land, that 10 acres, I'm gonna offer you 10, thousand dollars Jesse I'm gonna say hey that's the bottom of the line that's what it was assessed at by the county that's not the real market value it's worth at least twenty thousand it's probably worth more than that and that's what you need to do folks is know the value of your land because if you don't know the value of your land these real estate investment firms will just take your land from you because they think you don't know what it's worth so my advice to you would be to find out what your property is worth. And in closing, I'd like to say, if you do get these text messages, just block them. Block them because you've got to understand that any legit company is not going to be texting you, asking you if you would sell your land at this price, or Jesse, would you sell it at this price, or whatever. You saw I had, I had text messages about land in South Carolina, uh, Illinois, uh, Florida, uh, Oregon, Arizona, you name it. They're, they're just, like I said, it's just a numbers game, you know. I get a thousand, I'm going to do a thousand text messages today. If I get 50 people, 20 of those will probably sell me uh, their land for cheap. And that's how these land companies work, these land investment companies. Anyway, this is Jesse signing off. I hope you've enjoyed our video and I hope it helps you think before you sell. And remember, anybody that is sitting there texting you about your land, just block them. Anyway, this is the Owner Terms Land Network and I hope you've enjoyed our video. We'll be back again very soon with another video for you to watch. And this is Jesse signing off. Have a great day.